in this video we discuss various tokens in C language. We discuss what is a token and what are the different types of tokens available in C language. Before going to discuss tokens, we see an example. Let us take an English language. In English language, a sentence consists of different types of elements. That means an English sentence is formed using different elements such as pronoun, noun, verb, adverb, adjective and some special symbols etc. Similarly, in a C programming language, a statement is formed using different types of entities or elements. Those elements are called as tokens. We see the definition. A token is the fundamental or smallest unit in a C programming language. A C program is constituted from different types of tokens. First one, keywords, special symbols, constants, identifiers, operators, all these comes under different types of tokens. So tokens are classified into keywords, special symbols, constants, identifiers, operators. All these different types of tokens made a C programming language statement. We see an example. Let us say this is one program, one simple programming statement int age is equal to 20 followed by semicolon. Now we identify this programming statement is formed using various tokens such as we take first one integer. Integer is a keyword, it comes under token category keyword. Second one age. Age is the name of a variable. Age is a variable name which belongs to category integer type. So it comes under token category identifier. Equal to is an operator. And 20 comes under constant category. 20 is a constant value. And next one, last one, semicolon. Semicolon. Similarly, the white spaces between integer, age, equal to and 20. That white space also comes under special symbols. So likewise, a C programming statement is formed using various types of tokens. In this video, we discuss some of the tokens. Let us see keywords. A keyword is a reserved word or a predefined word in C language. What is a reserved word? Reserved word means the meaning of the keyword is already known to the C compiler. That means we cannot change its context or we cannot change its meaning. It is already known to the C compiler. A keyword cannot be used as an identifier. So identifier means we assign names to variables or we assign names to different programming elements. Those names are called as identifiers. So whenever we try to assign a name to a particular element, then that name should not be a keyword. So we can we should not use keyword to assign names to programming elements. Next one is a keyword is always written in lowercase alphabet. So why? Because C language is a case sensitive programming language. Uh, uh, lowercase alphabets differ from uppercase alphabets. So that's why keywords must always be written in lowercase alphabets. In a C language, a C language supports 32 keywords. So these are the 32 keywords in C language. Auto, break, case, care, constant, continue, default, do, double, else, enum, extern, float, for, go to, if, int, long, register, return, short, signed, size of, static, struct, switch, type def, union, unsigned, void, volatile, void. In the later videos, we discuss the purpose of each and every keyword. Coming to another category of tokens, special symbols. So these are different types of special symbols. If you want more details about special symbols, you can find the video about special symbols in C character set. So that video discusses about different types of special symbols. 
so what we have learnt in this video so this is the part one video of the tokens in this part one video we have identified what is a token and what are the different categories of tokens and also we discussed two token categories those are keywords and special symbols in the next videos we discuss the remaining tokens